Chernobyl wolves could be spreading mutations in Europe. The 1986 Chernobyl disaster left its mark on our history books, though its impact in our present remains somewhat unknown. In the explosion of the reactor itself, two engineers lost their lives. It was then in the emergency response that further injuries were acquired, with 237 people who were working at the time being hospitalized, 28 of whom passed away within the next three months. Additional fatalities that occurred from those impacted didn't seem to be linked to radiation particularly. But that does not mean that there is no need for concern. In truth, we know very little about how the Chernobyl disaster will impact the public and general population. Exposure-related fatalities are difficult to determine with precision, and so the true effect this disaster has had remains uncertain. It has been noted that there has been an increase in childhood thyroid cancer in 2011, with a possible correlation being hypothesized between the two. Research into the effects of radiation exposure long-term is ongoing. After the disaster to limit the detrimental impact of radiation, the USSR built the Chernobyl nuclear power plant sarcophagus. This is a large steel and concrete structure that covers the nuclear reactor that had seen the disaster, namely nuclear reactor number 4. By building the sarcophagus, the hope was that the most dangerous aspect of the disaster would remain largely contained, limiting the possibility of radioactive contamination. Furthermore, this sits within a larger zone that is highly restricted, known as the Chernobyl Exclusion Zone, often known as the 30km zone, which prohibits people from entering this unsafe area. While we humans are not likely to forget the horrific event and can heed the warnings regarding the dangers of radiation and those of radiation contamination, the same cannot be said for the wildlife in the surrounding area. In the north of Ukraine, where the site of Chernobyl sits, there are several European grey wolves, alongside other rather large species, who call the Chernobyl Exclusion Zone their home. While no people occupy this space anymore, just like us, animals can experience severe and long-term health issues from radiation. We are yet to conclude the degree to which radiation can cause mutations throughout species. A 2018 experiment saw researchers monitor the activity of 13 of these wolves, using collars with the ability to measure their radiation exposure. Predictably, the animals saw an increase in radiation when passing through areas that we knew to be zones of high contamination. What was a little more surprising was that one of the wolves managed to wander 250 miles out of the contaminated region, eventually making their way back to Russia. Jim Beasley, a wildlife ecologist, Based at the University of Georgia and the leader of the study, which was published in the European Journal of Wildlife Research, mentioned that this was the first time we have recorded long-distance wolf migration from the Chernobyl exclusion zone and outwards into the surrounding areas. He continued to explain that male wolves of about this age traveling great distances is something that we can expect, since this is common mating behavior though it does provide to us evidence that there are significant animal populations within the area impacted by the Chernobyl disaster. With there being a high number of wolves existing within the region, it falls in line with our expectations to see these creatures exploring further, looking to establish themselves elsewhere. Michael Byrne, a researcher of animal movement and ecology at the University of Missouri said, you'd expect that as a population of any animal, once it gets to a certain level, can only hold so many, so young animals will disperse. Studies that have previously been conducted revealed that the exposure to the radiation has the ability to cause mutations and other health hazards, though this research was primarily focused upon smaller creatures such as birds, rodents and insects. These studies have revealed that an animal's movements do have the capability to spread radioactive contaminants through their movements. We don't have a definitive idea as to whether this same information is applicable to animals such as wolves. It's definitely a plausible outcome. Some of the mutations that have been observed in creatures exposed thus far have included tumors, cataracts, smaller brain sizes, and some developmental differences and abnormalities. Regarding this specific study, it's worth noting that these harmful mutations likely would limit the movement of a wolf and so one able to travel great distances is not as likely to have been impacted by the radiation levels in too extreme of a manner. Overall, the truth is that there is a lot of mystery left to be uncovered here.
168 mysterious Nazca geoglyphs in the desert sands of Peru. A recent discovery revealed 168 geoglyphs in the sands of the Nazca Desert, Peru, in an area known as the Nazca Lines. The geoglyphs were interpreted by researchers at the Yamagata University of Japan and showcased several snakes, felines, birds, killer whales, humans, and camelids. The geoglyphs are pictographic. One of the human geoglyphs resembles a cartoon-like drawing of a person with large unrealistic eyes and what archaeologists think is supposed to be a beard or stubble on the face. So far, archaeologists believe these geoglyphs are dated somewhere between 100 BC and 300 AD, but there is still some uncertainty to be had since some researchers believe the Nazca lines can be dated back all the way to 400 BC. Yamagata University published the photographs they took of the geoglyphs, some edited to highlight the original lines, which otherwise are difficult to see due to centuries of the glyphs gradually deteriorating. The IBM Thomas J. Watson Research Center of New York worked in tandem with Yamagata University. The two organizations utilized artificial intelligence to scan the site of the geoglyphs in hopes that the AI would recognize the markings better and more clearly things that researchers worried they might have overlooked or missed. Yamagata University publicly stated, by using the newly discovered geoglyphs for AI analysis, Yamagata University aims to clarify the distribution patterns of the geoglyphs. The results of this research will also be used for geoglyph conservation activities. The Yamagata research took place in the period between June 2019 and February 2020. These 168 geoglyphs are far from the only ones located in the area of the Nazca Lines. The entire site is full of glyphs of all kinds. Every one of these geoglyphs follows a pictorial pattern and was created on the Peruvian desert floor. The towns of Nazca and Palpa are included in landmarks and are considered to be one of UNESCO's World Heritage Sites. The Nazca Lines span 400 kilometers. In the past, Archaeologists discovered that at the end of the Nazca lines were wooden snakes dug into the ground. These snakes proved to researchers that the people living in the basin used basic tools to create the geoglyphs. All the geoglyphs are composed of simplistic shapes, but that doesn't take away from their beauty. Alongside those recently discovered, other geoglyphs have been found representing hummingbirds, monkeys, spiders, mythical creatures, and dogs. It's thought that the Nazca lines were made by taking out dark pebbles from the sand surface and revealing the white sand beneath it in creating these shapes. With the discovery of brand new geoglyphs, the total number of found icons is 358, but experts state that they believe several hundred are still out there to be discovered. Peruvian archaeologist Luis Jaime Castillo has openly commented that he thinks only 5% of the Nazca lines have been uncovered. It's tricky to see their full designs unless one is on high ground looking down at the marbles. The Nazca lines were initially found in 1939 when a pilot flew overhead, but it's believed the surrounding locals witnessed their beauty long before from the heights of the hilltops. The reasoning behind their existence remains undetermined. Some archaeologists argue that it was supposed to serve an observatory purpose and work somewhat like a sundial, though other researchers believe that they were simply works of art. For now, it remains a debate. One of the oldest stars in the galaxy has a planet. Our universe took a lot of evolving and developing to get where it is today, so it is somewhat strange when we find aspects that we know are not that old existing in the early days of the universe. In the early universe, we simply did not have all the scientific elements that we have today. The elements needed to form rocky planets did not exist, yet despite this, astronomers have found, right here in the Milky Way galaxy, a rocky planet dating back further than you would expect. A little bit of an astronomical timeline is needed here to form this picture. The Big Bang took place, resulting in an abundance of the light elements in the universe – hydrogen, helium, and a smaller amount of lithium. About 200 million years following the Big Bang, stars began to form, and along with them, Heavier elements developed in the cores of stars, including carbon, oxygen, and iron. Now, for rocky planets to form, we need those materials from the cores of stars, so we should not be able to find rocky planets in the early days of the universe. 
These planets should, instead, be gaseous like Jupiter. There is one planet that is being looked at in this study. It has been found orbiting TOI 561, a star that is an approximate 10 billion years old and is one of the oldest in our galaxy. This planet was found through the Transiting Exoplanet Survey satellite and then observed more closely using the Keck telescope. This star is part of the galactic thick disk, an area of the galaxy made almost exclusively out of ancient stars, giving it a unique chemical composition. The stars in the so-called thick disk are much less metallic than in the thin disk, adding even more surprise to the discovery that it is indeed a rocky planet orbiting the star. The planet named TOI 561b was first found when it moved in front of the star it orbits. This process stopped the shine of the star for a moment, meaning the light dipped and Tess could see the planet lurking just in front of the star. After this, the next step was to gather information on the planet. Not only is it rocky, but it has a mass three times that of the Earth's, adding more evidence to the belief that this is a rocky planet, not a gaseous one. TOI 561b is not the only planet to orbit this old star, though. But the other two are confirmed to be gaseous, not rocky. It might take some time to continue this research and unravel this mystery, though it appears that something is different than how we currently understand it, whether that is the timeline of our universe, the composition of this planet, or the elements needed to form them. 34-meter tsunami may hit Indonesia in megaquake. We can anticipate and prepare for the inevitable earthquakes that are eventually likely to hit certain areas. This technology is continuing to evolve, and as of November 2022, there are some details that we are able to gather to a staggering specificity. It has been predicted that a tsunami reaching up to 34 meters in height could follow an earthquake of an 8.9 magnitude affecting the Java and Sumatra Indonesian islands. A research team has observed high levels of seismic activity along the coastal areas of these islands, indicating the possibility of a megathrust category earthquake. This was reported upon in the journal Natural Hazards, and whilst there was no timeline offered to the eventuality of this, it's understood that this is a somewhat inevitable event to occur. This has the potential to be comparable to that of the 2004 earthquake that left 180,000 people dead, having hit Sumatra. A disaster of this scale would be devastating no matter when it occurs. Though separate studies seem to indicate that an earthquake of this scale can be expected in this area every 500 years. The researchers were able to use data from several earthquakes that occurred between 2009 and 2020, to predict a magnitude of 4 or higher, along with an analysis of more than 1,000 epicenters for the potential tsunami. This inevitability is truly terrifying. We can only hope that increased awareness like this can help lead to further preparedness, in turn saving more lives. There are so many hardships that we face within our lives, and the advancement of technology is a double-edged sword. We can only hope that the continued development of science can be applied in beneficial ways. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.